2000 model Ford Excursion. Customer says there's heat in the back, but not heat in the front. So he's going to put an actuator on. I'm going to show y'all how to put an actuator on. I'm going to show y'all how to check it and all that real quick. Also verify if you got heat on your gauge. That's up there, but I don't think that's high enough. I think thermostat might be open. I don't think uh, feeling the heat in the back, you don't feel like the back has good heat neither. So I think we have a circulation problem. So either we got a bad thermostat or we got a blockage somewhere. Let's get out and start checking all that. So to change the actuator, we gotta pop these in. Let this fall down. You gotta take your screwdriver. This is your actuator right here. On this model here, all you gotta do is pop up. No screws, no nothing. So you can go by your actuator. This is probably a doorman. But you can check it right here. If you spin your knob hot to cold, you can see if that turns. Turn it. So it is not the actual. So now let's turn around and stick it back in. When you stick this up in there, when you put a new one on it, you got to get it back lined up. So what all you got to do to get it lined up is you drop it down in the hole a little bit like that. Spin your knob hot to cold and it'll kind of fall down into the spot. Then you just lock it in. There you go. So that ain't this one's problem. So let's, let's shut the door back on it. Throw all his stuff back up inside of it. Go on to something else. These right here, these are little heater valves. They got little plunger there that works all vacuum. So first thing you do is check if there's vacuum. Back to here, so I'm gonna try and change it because we either open or close it off this vacuum. So if that ain't getting vacuum to it, then that tells you that we got a vacuum problem. So let's spin it this way and see if we got a vacuum on it. Let's see. No vacuum. Okay. So that leads us in the direction of figuring out. Why don't we got no vacuum? So let's set this valve right here open and close. Because in there, let's see. In there. Kind of cold. I don't think these I don't think these vacuums open and closing like it's supposed to. Let's check it next. Figure out where everything goes and where it gets this vacuum source from. And go from there. So this line feeds inside and we are getting vacuum here. We're getting a little bit of vacuum right here. This feeds to the inside. So we ain't getting no vacuum I mean, we, we're not getting no vacuum from here. This feeds to the inside and then that feeds over. If you take the tongue and stick the tongue on it, you can feel that this has such and it has uh, it's sealed off. Push on it, you can feel where, like, you suck it back and stick your tongue to it. It's airtight. So, you know, this side, this line ain't cracked. But this line here, if I do it the same way, it don't hold back anymore. This line probably broke somewhere. So, let's go through one side and find where that gray one goes. So, that line is not broke, but it looks like it, or unless it's broke up on the side. But it looks like it tees into the valve that recirculates to the inside. So that might be not what I'm looking for, but let's try. Let's try putting on the, uh, well, let's see. Let's try to swap the valve on this and see if we can get a vacuum or something. So I think we have a, a water not getting hot enough. So I took this right here, clamp off of it. Now look, that's hot water right there coming out of there pretty well, uh, it's warm. It's, it's smoke because it was on that sauce, but it ain't nothing crazy. I'm going to crank it up real quick and see if it shoots anything out of it. That'll let me know if there's a blockage or not. 
get flow from look at that. We're not getting a whole lot of it. We took this uh, back of mine up to get constant or it fixed it up. Okay, that stopped. So the vacuum on there actually stopped it. So this must cut vacuum on when the air conditioner is off. I guarantee you when that when that actually So this thing should be just pushing the water filter look at that. It's running and there's no water circulating through that. Oh, so that leads me to believe we probably got a weak water pump. So normally, if the water pump's good, it would hose down. You can get all kind of water out of that thing. So I put the cap loose, and then it sprays a lot. I don't think, I don't think we got a, I think we got a circulation problem. So let's, let's hook this back up, take the cap off of it. Try something real quick. So I took the, I took the cap off and it's it's barely warm. Same up here. So we got a, a water pump that's not circulating yet. All right, I spun I spun the fan off of it. Pulled my four bolts loose. I'm gonna knock my pulley loose. And I'm gonna start pulling my water pump bolts. So I pulled it off. Look at that right there. It's missing a blade on it. I didn't see it up inside of it when I turned around and uh to loose so it went somewhere in the motor but like i said that thing you see out there in them blades are that's why it ain't it, it ain't work. circulating water like it should all right so now we're gonna go drive it warm it up get the thermostat open and all i'll put a new thermostat in too while i was at it let's go see how this thing does see if that fixes our problem all right well the heat's working good in the expedition so it was the water pump like i said the break the the blade was broken. Like I said, what I discovered was I pulled the heater hose loose, and that's what allowed me to look and see that the water was not coming out. See, the water pressure, normally like on a car, a water pump on a car will build 15, 18 pounds of, uh, 15, 18 PSI. Some older cars, 10, and whatnot, but it'll still, 10 PSI, 15 PSI, you can see a stream. You pull it off, it's gonna, it's gonna put a hose. I mean, it's gonna put a water, a garden hose look out of it. Like if you took it and a lotion you looked at it if it's doing right it should soak you real quick and for it to spit a little bit and nothing i knew we had a blockage we got, we had to have something going on where it was not circulating like it should so when i pulled the water pump off the blades are thin the pump itself the uh missing one blade on i knew we were we found our issue so i went and stuck a new thermostat and all in it it circulates like it is now if i'd have pulled the hose off and it would if i'd have pulled the hose off and it would have had a stream out of it but the air but the heat was still cool inside of it and the lines were cool and i would have known it was thermostat related or radiator the radiator could be stopped up or the core lines on it and it's just not circulating like it should like i mean or it's circulating so fast it just takes a while to heat up but with what it was on that i knew we done checked the inside doors on it they worked like they were supposed to the line the line was getting a little warm but not really warm so I knew they couldn't have been pushing hot water across it. So it's pretty basic. Hope if you have heat problems, if you got any questions, comment below. Hope you don't have no heat problems. If you have any questions, comment below. I hope you out like I do in my other videos. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you one later. Thank you. Bye.